So hey guys, last time we loaded this car up and sent it over to paint. I'm just here to make sure that they got everything that they need and this will be the last time that we see it in this condition. Alright guys, we got the car painted. As you can see, it's a little dusty, but we're going to load it up on the trailer and send it back over to the shop where we can finish it up. All right, we just got this car unloaded, and as you can see, we've still got a lot to do. In this box here, we have all new seals, and in this box here, we've even got some hood pads and decals. So hey guys, we just got this 84 944 back from paint. You can see TJ's already got the headlight covers and front bumper on. It's also got the side markers in. Over here, you can see that he's got the hood pads on as well. Maybe I clean up a little bit of overspray, but nothing too bad. He's working on the rear bumper now. And then we're gonna get the quarter glass in, finish up the interior, and get the tail lights in. And that'll just about do it. Overall, the car looks really good. It came with a glass roof when it arrived, but there was another sunroof in the trunk that we had painted. So everything looks good. We got to get some of this residue off the window seals where it was taped up. But that shouldn't take very long. We're also going to be refinishing the wheels. But anyway, I just thought I'd quickly walk you around it and show you what it looks like and we hope to have it finished up soon. TJ's got the lights and the bumper installed now. We also got rid of some of the overspray that was underneath here. Everything looks brand new. Next, we're going to be replacing these clips that go in the license plate bracket and getting the rear sticker put on. So hey guys, today I thought I'd line up a few of the red cars that we have here at the shop and we'd take a quick look at them. This red 84 just got back from paint and it's absolutely gorgeous. We're slowly getting it back together. The badge of course is going to be the last thing that I install. Still got to get the antenna on. It's getting a new power antenna. Once everything's done, we're going to refinish these wheels in black. We're also finishing up the interior, then we gotta get the wipers, mirror, antenna, door handles, and the quarter glass in. So far, it's turning out amazing back here. We've got tail lights in and the rear bumper on. We've also got a brand new badge and a new Porsche script going along the bottom there. TJ is in here cleaning up the interior. So TJ was getting the interior back together and he noticed that the rear seat was rotted completely out. So looks like we got to fix that next. He's got the seat to skinned and this is the one we're going to rescan. All 
All right, TJ's got this interior back together now. He's got the rear seat in along with the rear trim panels. You may remember when this car first came in that the center console was busted up and the carpet was a mess. Also, this seat here wasn't mounted. All right, TJ's got the wheels off and the next thing he's gonna do is mask everything off and paint these centers black. He's got this one masked off now. So today we got the wheel off and we're replacing the power antenna. All right, we've got the antenna and the charcoal canister mounted. All right, we got the antenna hooked up now and it's working perfectly. All right, I've got all the gauge lights working now. I did have a heck of a time getting these replaced up here because the gauges didn't want to come out. But they're all working and looks great now. Unfortunately, that's only the beginning because we still have some bulbs that aren't working here on the outside of the car. Walk you around, you can see this one isn't working. The ones in the bumper up here aren't working. This one here does work, but this one back here doesn't. So I'm going to try and get all those replaced and make every light on this car work as it should. So last night I got the gauge lights working. Today I'm gonna to be installing some new bulbs around the car and making sure that all the lights work. And then I'm gonna install the mirrors, which you can see I have some new gaskets here. I have the mirror bases back on now. And before I put everything back together, I'm gonna to go ahead and start working on these lights. All right guys, after a lot of painstaking work, we finally have all the lights on this car working. We replaced the bumper lights here since those were busted. This car also came with aftermarket fog lights, which we replaced and we have those working properly now. We also have all the side markers working. We replaced all the interior bulbs and the gauges as well. And all the turn signals work. So today we're reinstalling the mirrors and you can see they're faded out. So what we're going to do is use the heat gun here to make them look good again. All right, so we got the mirrors back on. So the next thing I'm going to do is apply the decal that goes back here. You can see we have it right here in the trunk. We've got it mocked up now. All right, we got the decal on there and it looks pretty good. I have installed easier ones. We had to do a little bit of measuring with this one, but we got it on and it looks good. All right guys, we got the door handles back on. They not only look great, but they work perfect. All right, I'm taking her on her first test drive. So far, she's doing great. test drive the clutch pedal fell to the floor so looks like I'm going to be replacing both of the cylinders the new cylinders have arrived so let's get them in so that way this car can go home the cylinders are in and everything's bled so let's take her on a test drive guys we just about got this car sorted out I'll take you quickly around it and let you see just how gorgeous it is you 
just trying to make sure she gets up the temp and everything's working properly. We gotta get this engine broken in before it goes home. Take you inside and let you see the interior. As you can see, it looks so much better than when it first came in. Sunroof works perfectly now. The oil pressure is exactly where we want it. It's at five bar when we're driving down the road. Temperature is really good. Stays perfectly in the center while driving. So everything looks good. We also got the antenna fixed. Turn the radio on here for you. There it goes. And there goes the antenna. Now we'll pop the hood. All right guys, this car is finally ready to go home. You may remember when it first came in, it had a terrible paint job. The clear coat was peeling off and there was a huge dent in the rear quarter panel. We were able to get all that fixed up. We also welded in a new battery tray and fixed that large hole that was in it. Originally, we were just gonna remove the head and replace the head gasket, but once we got in there, we found that cylinder number two was scored. So we decided to go ahead and pull the engine and have it sleeved. While we were in there, we found numerous other issues that we had to repair as well. I don't think that anything on this car was in good condition and not much of anything actually worked. So we had to go in and repair pretty much everything on this car from one end to the other. So anyway, guys, I'm glad to have this car finished. I hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like to stay up to date with some of the projects we're working on around the shop, be sure to join us on Facebook. I'll leave a link in the description below. I also want to thank everyone who supports this channel on Patreon since these videos would not be possible without you. But anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you next time.